During my Osiris League livestream on last Sunday, I've explained a small and effective trick to allow more than 30 players to get 10 gold heads during an arc game with your alliance. Any arc game, not only the Osiris League, of course. Also, if you enjoy to see me swarming slow this Harold just to bother him, this is the right place for you. Spoiler alert, he gets revenge at the end. As you guys know, this channel is very new, and I want to thank the over 10,000 people that chose to hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to me, not because I want to be a YouTuber, because I do something completely different in life, but because I understand and value the fact that when you click the button, you trust me, and you trust my content. But starting a YouTube channel is not cheap, and who does it, knows it, so the best way for me to provide you better content is to have sponsors for my videos. So consider watching this small ad, because it's actually very interesting, otherwise I will never propose it to you. Today's video is sponsored by Huawei's App Gallery. As you know, I'm recently playing Infinity Kingdom and I'm actually enjoying very much leveling up my dragons and my mortals to make my water team stronger. If you normally spend some money in the games you enjoy, you know that the prices are different from a country to another one. Well, App Gallery has a solution for you. Just download the App Gallery with my link in the description of this video from your smartphone, even if you don't have a Huawei device and you are an Android user, or even from Bluestacks. Afterwards, download the Huawei mobile services, always using the link in the description below, and set your country to Germany, Austria or Switzerland. If you do that and download Infinity Kingdom through your app gallery, you will notice that wherever you are, you will pay in dollars for your bundles. So no more $5 bundles which cost 5.49 euros or 5 pounds. Easy, no? And App Gallery has also a big promotion going on for the Easter week in Infinity Kingdoms, where you will get a 20% Huawei points back that you will be able to use and get some more free stuff. Also, if you want to play with me in Vita's Kingdom 25, I have some free coupons for you if you install the game through the App Gallery. You will find all the links and the codes in the description down below. Thank you for watching this ad and helping my channel out. Now, back to Rise of Kingdoms. Hello everyone and welcome to Week Gaming. Before diving into the topic, I wanted to answer a couple of other questions that I get asked a lot, such as, Week, how do you guys test your commanders? Well, I made a video about that a long ago, and card up on the top if you want to check that out, but essentially, the Ark of Osiris practice mode is very important in this process. Now even more, because the 200% attack has been replaced for a 100% damage boost, which basically just doubles up the damage you deal and does not make your attack items worthless. But if you don't have a clue of what I'm talking about, no worries, I also made a guide about the difference between an additive and a multiplicative buff, explaining how they work and why you get diminishing returns if you stack up too much on one statistic. And you will also understand how using attack items, especially in the case of the old bonus version in Ark of Osiris, was causing a big ponderation issue. Yesterday we ran some tests using some Guans and other commanders. On one side we have Guan Yu and Harald, on the other side Guan Yu and Leonidas. Usually we use an amount of commanders per side, corresponding to the maximum amount of the AoE targets hit by the commanders themselves. So basically, the best way will be to use 3 Guan Yu per side, because Guan Yu, Leonidas and Harald have a top AoE target number of 3. Anyway, what we noticed in this particular testing is that Harald wins, but only if he fires off many skills in the beginning of the battle thanks to some lucky odds, because the difference that he creates in the beginning will eventually snowball in having the opponent with a bigger and bigger troop difference compared to him. This of course does not happen in a rally, because lucky or not lucky, it can influence just the casualties, so the severely wounded and the dead troops, which we are usually not interested in when we test. What I mean is that both the garrison and the rally will be filled up anyway. Regarding the Osiris topic, you know that if the players win the game and score more than 10,000 individual points, they are going to get the maximum rewards, consisting in 10 gold heads, gems, speedups and other stuff, 
5 gold adds in the case you lose the game and have more than 10,000 points. Many teams do not choose backup players for the league because they unfortunately need to sit on the bench every time and while being on the Osiris team they cannot register for the regular Ark of Osiris. And the result of all of this is that those backup players will give up to 10 to potentially 20 gold sculptures a month as the regular Ark is happening once every two weeks. But as the qualifier stages of the Osiris League is fairly easy for relatively strong teams, this is an issue that you can overcome easily if you can follow this simple tip. If you see that you are winning the game by a lot and having the players going out will not hurt your final outcome, you just need to plan for some players to go out at a certain time of the match and let the backup players come in. But closing the game or clicking back will not give you any result. What you need to do is to click on the score on the top and then click on quit. An important message will appear that says if you exit the battlegrounds now, your individual scores will not be reset to zero but you will be unable to re-enter the battlegrounds. Are you sure you want to exit? And of course you will click yes. What happens, as we will see at the end, is that your city is going to literally disappear from the game, together with your marches, even if your marches will be dispatched on the field. Practically, you will keep your score intact and won't be able to enter again, but at the same time you will create some space for any backup player to join the game, score 10,000 points and get the rewards. As you can see from this report from the first game of the Osiris League that we played on last Sunday, we have 37 players out of 30, and if I scroll down to check the individual scores, you will notice that until player 37 they all have over 10,000 points. So it means that 37 players got 10 sculptures. This is a good way to reward the backup players that sacrifice themselves in order to protect the team when someone cannot play. In fact, uh, let's say that 4 games of Osiris are very easy for the team in the beginning phase. You will let them enter 4 times, rewarding them for 2 months of regular arc. Then if you go to the playoffs, they will also take some extra gold heads and also exchange the coins acquired by playing actively in the Osiris shop. So at the end, they will potentially lose nothing or very little by staying in the team as a backup. In the background you can see how professional we are in running some extremely useful tests. Anyway, I told you that Slody was getting his revenge at the end, but he was not expecting this for sure. Check this out. And I will see you on the next one. Ciao! Okay, I'm going out before I get killed. <laughs> 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 <laughs>